Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We are going to tackle a big question today on this very fine Monday in FIFA 22, when to buy Premier League team of the season. We are going to be taking a close look at Premier League Tots cards today and at when I think it might be the best time to buy some of these items that have changed everything on the market. Quite literally, this whole entire market is crashing because of how cheap these cards are, but also so many people want to get them for their teams because of how insane these cards are statistically, but also how cheap they are. There's a lot of demand for these cards. So I want to take a look at time frames of when it might be the best time to buy some of these Premier League Tots team of the season players as we head throughout this week. And I know we're taking a look at this very early on in the week, but I feel like we need to because these cards are going to be fluctuating day in and day out, especially today on Monday, as it is a massive day on this game with the release or the hopeful release of what we would hope for is the 25k premium Premier League upgrade packs. The same ones that we had during Team of the Year and the same ones that we have had in the past couple years during Team of the Season. We're hoping for those upgrade packs today. That could move the market a little bit. So we're going to take a look at all of that. And of course, speaking of the market, this prices on this game on other cards apart from like Premier League tots and everything else are down horrendous. And we're going to continue to look at why these cards are down so much like we talked about in yesterday's video. And actually how I think there's a little bit of potential for some of these cards to start rising back up a little bit after the weekend because that even though the weekend league is still going on there's it seems to be most people are still used to playing on the weekend so they kind of it, the the markets revolve around the same schedule that it usually does on any normal given week in this game so we'll talk about that of course monday content other than upgrade packs that we would expect to see on the game today as well. So if you're excited for upgrade packs today and hope you want to pack some blues, hit the thumbs up on the video and of course subscribe if you're new. Now let's dive into that question, when to buy Premier League Tots because that is such a big question for so many people on this game. Whatever the card is that you want to buy, Bernardo, Van Dijk, Cancelo, Hyunmin Son, or it's maybe, um, you know, even Trent Alexander-Arnold for a four-star, four-star boost, 156,000 coins. One thing is the same with all these cards right now. They have dropped off a lot since they first came into packs. Trent was 232k on Saturday morning, and now this guy is 150,000 coins. Yesterday on Sunday, these cards dropped off a little bit more. You can see Trent hit his low point here at about 150 um, on this Sunday night into Monday morning. Now, I'll say this. A lot of these cards have gotten pretty low in the past day. Uh, as, as you guys know, right? Sun was like 780 at his lowest. Van Dyke is currently at the lowest he's ever been. Salah is under 2.5 mil. Diogo Jota is 230,000 coins. This is one of the most popular cards in the game right now. And you can tell based off his price fluctuations every single day. Look at this. Jota, 346 up to 390 all the way down to 260k. Last night, or sorry, this was actually... Um, Sunday, early Sunday morning, late Saturday night into Sunday, he goes from 240 up to 275. And here we sit on the market with Diogo Jota at 230,000 coins. These cards have so much demand. That's why they keep fluctuating up and down in price on the game because people are constantly buying them, trying them out in their teams. And there's going to become a point in the next couple of days where people are going to buy these cards and then put them in their teams and, and not really sell them. So, you know, that's kind of what we're trying to get ahead of. We're trying to get ahead of the curve and time the buy so that we buy before a lot of other people do. And of course, people always try to buy cards like this before they go out of packs. Because again, people think that when cards go out of packs, they automatically rise. That doesn't always happen. I think it could happen here a little bit with these Premier League Tots cards into the weekend. But that's what we're going to talk about today. I think that we are in the low area for a lot of these Prem Tots cards. And you're like, Nate, it's Monday morning. Like We don't have weekend league rewards today. Uh, last week, the community tots cards like Zaha and Fred, they were near their lowest on like Wednesday. Uh, some of them were low on Sunday and, and Monday morning. So, so what gives, why are we in the low now? Well, there's so much more demand for these cards since they're so cracked and they're so cheap. I think that there's going to be rises on these cards faster than what you would expect. So this is what I'm saying. If you see a card like this Diogo Jota is 230,000 coins, this Trent is 150. With all the drop-offs that we have seen this weekend, Bernardo Silva is 178K. I think what you're going to want to do is before Wednesday of this week, and again, I'm giving you a broad range in here because prices are going to fluctuate every day. There's going to be rises. There's going to be falls every single day for each and every one of these team of the season cards. 
Of course, on a Wednesday, that, that's why I'm giving you like a Wednesday cutoff date because when you're looking to buy one of these cards for your team, a lot of people look for that Wednesday date as the time to buy because that's when we should be getting the Premier League guaranteed TOTS upgrade pack. And last week, when we had the release of the um, community team of the season pack, the guaranteed pack, we had cards like Fred and Zaha right after that pack was released. People didn't pack them in their guaranteed pack. They ran to the market and bought them up, and those cards started going up in price very, very quickly right after that. So to avoid that demand and those uh, price spikes right away, I really think it's important to stay ahead of the game, like I mentioned before, and start looking at these cards today, tomorrow, and uh, even a little bit on Wednesday as well. There could be a bit of panic selling heading into that guaranteed upgrade pack dropping on Wednesday. So that's what I would say for a lot of these cards. Again, you guys know the prices. You guys can look at Footbin and say, hey, this guy, Virgil van Dyke, this is like the lowest that he's been, 618,000 coins. I sold two of these Van Dykes yesterday at 680, 690,000 coins on Sunday, right? I bought them at 630, sold them at 690. He's back down even lower than what he was before. Now, is he going to go to 690K again today? Probably not. But, you know, that's the kind of thing you're looking at with these cards is we are kind of near that low point before everything starts to transition into more people buying later on in this week. Now, of course, we don't know what kind of SBCs that EA are going to drop. Of course, if EA drops some sort of insane, repeatable, um, you know, like an 80s, some crazy sort of upgrade pack or another, like if they drop some sort of Icon Moments player pick, I know yesterday they dropped a 92 plus Icon Moments pack. There's always, and I mean always, opportunities for EA to drop content that could crash the market a little bit. And EA is going to continue to run lightning rounds this week as well. So that's one thing that helps, I guess, is you'll have a little bit of constant supply coming in. But I really think that your buy time for a lot of these Prem Tots cards is going to be uh, in the next two days, two to three days, to be completely honest. Now, one thing that's a bit interesting with this is... If you take a look at the weekend league time frame, and I got to point this out, I'm in the middle of my weekend league right now. I'm five and two, seven games played. The This weekend league, it's kind of behind my face cam. You can't see it. Weekend league ends a day before it did last week. I want to point this out. If you were not aware, take a look at the timer in the bottom left-hand corner of your screen there. Ends in one day, four hours. When I'm recording this, um, this is late Sunday night, early Monday morning. That means it basically we're 24 hours away from weekend league ending. So it's going to end Tuesday morning instead of Wednesday morning from last week. I don't know why this was changed, but I think they must have just added on an extra 24 hours since last week was the first week. I don't know. But now I need to make sure that I get my games in. We noticed this just at the end of the live stream yesterday on Twitch. Cheeky link down below in the description if you want to get involved with the live streams there every day. But... Uh, I did notice that. I think that's very worth pointing out because some of these cards for Premier League Tots might have a bit of a market rise even tomorrow on like Tuesday after rewards because we saw that last week on Wednesday with the rewards being given out for Community Tots. That caused a bit of market rise as well. Now, last thing I want to say is regardless of whether you're wanting to buy a Premier League Tots card for your team or for an investment, let me just show you something. These cards are not going to maintain their prices that they're at, even some of the most expensive ones and even some of the cheaper ones, they're not all going to maintain these prices and continue to rise for like a couple weeks to come. It's not like you can go buy out, buy one of these Tots Premier League cards, put it in your team and hold it there for three or four weeks and expect to make uh, money on the card. This is what happens during team of the season. Since we're having so many top tier insane cards released every single week from these different leagues take a look at Yemen's son he he got to his lowest in the first couple days of the week last year right under 2 million coins exploded to 2.3 mil on the weekend and then what happens the next monday he's back down at 1.8 mil and then a couple weeks later he's down at 1.1 million coins because every single week we're getting more and more insane tots cards this is 100 percent going to happen this year as well it's already starting to happen with tots community cards look at luis suarez this dude was 1.3, 1.2 million coins on Friday. He is 899,000 coins on the market right now. You know, some guys like Fred and Zaha are still up a bit and Laporte are still up, but I just think that you can't be buying into these Premier League cards and expecting to hold on to them for a long time unless you don't care about losing coins. That's fine and dandy too if you just want to buy one of these and say, screw it, this is my endgame team and I'm going for it. I just wanted to point that out uh, because the market is still going to change drastically in the next couple of weeks with all these great leagues coming out with more TOTS cards on the game 
as well. So I wanted to point that out. But that kind of should answer the question and give you a lot of insight, uh, of course, on when to buy some of these team season Premier League cards, which are so in demand on this market and on this game. Now, let's talk about today on Monday and what a lot of people are getting very, very excited for. You can see the TOTS counter is up to 19. I haven't packed any notables yet. Um, besides uh, Trent Alexander-Arnold, I did pack a Bruno from an 84 times 25 and an Allison. But what everybody's going to be going after today are upgrade packs. That's what this day, this Monday on FIFA, is so... There's so much anticipation and so much hype built into today because of this pack right here. These are the upgrade packs that we are hoping and expecting to get. The premium Premier League upgrade pack SBC. A lot of people are already preparing to to buy uh, to build these packs by going out and buying rare golds. You do not have to buy Premier League rare golds. I would be absolutely shocked if EA required league specific rares for the upgrade pack SBC. Last year and this earlier this year in team of the year, they did not require specific league rares. It was just 11 rare players, 45 chemistry, and that was it. And that's a W. That would mean that these, th this pack right here, what it is, and the reason why it's so hype is because it's basically a 25K pack, 12 Premier League players, three of them rare. It's incredible for packing team of the seasons. And the pack weight's going to be flying. It's going to be so much fun. We're going to spend so many coins on this. And a lot of people are, are ready to do the same. Now, we don't have any confirmation that this pack is coming for sure. It's just kind of one of those unwritten rules. And if EA don't do this today, then they are going to get so much hurt and so much, uh, I guess, hate is kind of the best word to describe it. People are going to be so mad. This happened, I believe it was FIFA 19 or FIFA 20. Or FIFA, I think it was FIFA 20. EA didn't release the upgrade packs right away. And the whole community like rioted and almost forced EA to put out the packs um, because we were like, yo, where are these packs? We want to spam them. So I think they're going to come out today. Mondays have been upgrade pack days. Anyway, a lot of people have been buying rare golds. I think that's a great idea because when these packs come out, I would, I would anticipate that most rare golds in this game are going to go up to around, you know, 900 to 1,000 coins per gold rare card. So right now, as you can see, you can get them for 750 for the Premier League rares. Uh, but then if you go to the other leagues too, like let's go to the La Liga, you can very easily get La Liga rares for 700 or 750 coins a piece. So that's a great opportunity to fill up your club, fill up your transfer list, or even go unassigned if you want to and bid and buy it now. A lot of those cards to just get a head start if you want to build a lot of upgrade packs. That's something that I have not done yet, but I'm absolutely thinking about doing. Um, and we should see that content today. We should get two upgrade SBCs because we should get that main one, the 25K pack, um, and then we should have another Premier League upgrade for people to like rinse into, if that makes sense, that would require more non-rares than, than the rares. So, you know, you can stock your club with non-rares as well. Those will become useful for the upgrade packs that should drop today. But today really begins the hype and trying to pack as many blues as possible. That's We're going to spend so many coins doing that. It's going to be an absolute blast. You're going to be able to craft SBCs. If you haven't done Deli Ali, Harry Kane, um, I, I, it is leaked. Actually, I don't know if this is going to be coming today, but we have an icon moments, Wayne Rooney. Uh, he's evidently coming as an SBC as well. Perfect timing for EA to drop this with all the English cards in the game, but Wayne Rooney's icon moments card, he is going to be getting an SBC, I believe, uh, this week on FIFA 22 as well. So just kind of keep an eye out for that. If that's something that would interest you. But today, the big day and the, the big hype is for the upgrade packs. Now, could we get a Rooney today? Maybe. Could we get an Akin Fenua? Again, if you uh, watched yesterday's video, we talked about an Akin Fenua end of an era card. That is something that could be coming today as well. It is leaked. It is confirmed. It's just a matter of time till when we get the SBC. I would also imagine like an 86 plus double upgrade or like an 85 plus type pack. We had one of those last Monday with the 86 double. I would anticipate a, a upgrade gamble type pack like that today on Monday as well in this game. It's going to be a mad day of content. It's going to be an absolute blast. I'm trying to get my games in so that we can start ripping packs and having a lot of fun that way. Now, also, I'm trying to make some coins. And as you may tell, the coin balance is down a bit. Now, I have bought some cards. I've sold some cards as well. I did flip a Rooney. He was down in like the 550K range. Bought one there. Sold it at 620 Flipped myself a little real Ferdinand. Uh, and I have bought some team of the season cards to try to flip and to try to trade with. Because at the moment, this these are the cards that are hyped, right? But the market in general, as I take a look again at like this Ben Yedder card, 
I bought two Ben Yetters yesterday at 700,000 coins thinking that it was too cheap. And now look at this guy. He's 670. Like, it's crazy to see some of these cards and how low they've gotten. Like, I'm watching the Suarez item right now as well because, um, you know, some of these cards, I understand that they've dropped off a lot in price. But it just seems to be like compound panic selling. And you guys know, we talk about it all the time, that when cards are still pretty hype because they're new, they're popular, and they're rare, just like a guy like this Suarez, second owner, 55 games played, 65 goals scored. What a beast. I mean, they're, they're not just this card in general, but there's going to be some cards that will bounce back in price from the low prices that we see right now this week, even though today's a huge coin drain day for a lot of people going out and doing upgrade packs. Look at Dybala. Dybala's 560. I mean, yesterday we were like, man, this guy's cheap. And he was 625,000 coins. So as I continue to scroll through the market, all I see is down bad. That's literally all that I see, except for a few cards from the Premier League, like Joel Cole is still up. Henderson has not really dropped at all. But like a Betty Pele was 1.2 million coins on Friday, right? Uh, 1.1 mil. He's now 875,000 coins. I, I feel like we're taking a look at some of the same cards each and every time we hop on a video. But it's just crazy to see these price drop-offs. And uh, again, a, a quick word of, of warning, if there's still a card that you own that is not down that much, especially like maybe a Coutinho because Premier League is hype right now. Martinelli is down a little bit, uh, but he's 548K. I would just be very careful holding on to stuff that is inflated in price. This Lucas Mora card at 1.1 million coins, I know he's really good. He is going to drop in price a lot over the next couple of weeks. The Premier League cards that are inflated in price right now, I would not hold on to them for too much longer because it just cannot last. The, the Mara's wrote to the final. I keep mentioning him too. It, these prices cannot last when the rest of the market is so cheap and the rest of the market is dropping because of all of these cards being so cheap. It's the same thing's going to happen this next Friday when we get Bundesliga team of the season. A lot of the Premier League Tots cards are going to drop off after the weekend and Premier League cards that were hype in general are going to drop off as people say, oh my goodness, these Bundesliga cards are cracked. I want to go out and try some Bundesliga cards. So you can trade like we looked at Pedri yesterday. He was 750. Now he's back up over 800K. You can absolutely trade and make coins off of some of these cards. And again, like I mentioned, some of the ones that are just really, really rare that are still really popular and meta, uh, you can absolutely make some coins off of. But you just have to be careful with the cards that you're, you're trading with and the items that you're spending coins on because... If, if a card that you're looking at is not very, oh my gosh, Keen for 756, that's an incredible bid. But like, look at this guy, he's so low. Bids at 750 and 600 back here too. It, it's just crazy. That, that's what I would say right now is be very careful because we get so many insane Tots cards every single week on this game. And it's the market always goes towards what is hot and what is popular. And that right now is, is these Prem Tots cards. Now, speaking of uh, new Tots cards, here's one that we had yesterday, Mitrovic. I picked up a couple of these because I think that he might go up a bit. I picked up some at 200K. I think he might go to like 230 or 240. Um, or today on Monday, we'll see if that happens or not. This card is not incredibly hyped, but it's brand new and it's rare. Pretty. This is like the best card from EFL Tots. Like we were talking about in yesterday's video, uh, the EFL Tots squad is just... It's, it's cool, and no offense if you're an EFL fan, but EA just did not give these guys the juice that they gave to A, the Air Divisie, or any other of the TOTS leagues so far. Um, Harry Wilson is not four-star, four-star, unfortunately. He is three-star skills, four-star weak foot. If this card had the four-star skills to it, I feel like he'd be an extra 50, 60,000 coins. He's 150, 160K right now. He's actually up like 15K, but these cards are rare. They do have a little bit of hype because they're brand new but they're just not that great. I mean, completely honest, a lot of this team is fodder besides Twine, Mitrovic, Solanke, and Wilson. So I, I do feel a bit bad. I wish they were a little bit better in terms of statistics, that's for sure. But that really didn't cause a lot of movements on the market yesterday because these cards are just, again, like I mentioned, they're not that cracked and they don't bring as much hype to the game as we would have really wanted to. Now, one of the last things we're going to talk about in the video today is SBC fodder because fodder cards are in the bin once again because we did have the 92 plus icon moments pack yesterday but it really didn't move fodder that much because it wasn't a player pick and we still were getting all of those lightning rounds and all of that supply now there's going to be gameplay uh not gameplay demand there's going to be demand this week for people to get um sbc's done and crafted with the packs that we're going to see added to 
the or the upgrade packs that we're going to see added to the SBC section today. Um, so I do think there's going to be some fodder movements later on this week. If you've bought 84s, 85s, 86s, especially on the low tier end of fodder, which is where I, I think I like it the most right now, if I'm being completely honest, um, I like that tier. Yeah, man, I, I just think that um, a lot of these cards are still going to rise up because, um, you know, we, we have got a lot of SBCs coming. Like I mentioned, the Gamble Packs, the Guaranteed Team of the Season SBCs, I think those are all going to be coming here pretty soon um, this this week. And I think that creates a really, really good opportunity to make some coins and you will see those cards rise. Although right now it seems kind of crazy that, with how cheap these cards are. If you guys remember last year, actually, SBC fodder was its cheapest during Premier League Tots. Then the content really ramped up and all of this fodder exploded uh, in the weeks after the Premier League team of the season. So that's something to kind of consider as well is uh, you might have some of these cards that will actually be their lowest this week. And then if the content really starts to crank up, then you'll see these prices um, really balloon. Actually, as I was just looking at that Harry Wilson, I checked him out on the market. Um, I checked him out at 160 and there were two at 140. I picked both of those up and now the cheapest one in the market is 190. So I just listed mine up, but these guys are really rare, man. And that's why I picked up a couple of the, of this Wilson card and I picked up a couple of the Mitrovic as well is because yes, they're not the most insanely hyped cards ever, but they're really rare. And rarity is one of the best things we like when trading on this market. So I think I'm gonna pick myself up a Suarez right here. 900, 897. Can I get like an 8, uh, 896, a CDM position change? You know what? I'm gonna snag this one, man. I'm gonna snag this one. I think that's way too cheap. I think it's going to rise up a little bit today. So that's an investment you guys can follow along with me, I suppose, since we bought it on the video. And uh, yeah, hopefully we sell it tomorrow and make some coins off of it. But that's going to be the video for today, lads. Again, if you're opening upgrade packs today, have fun. Of course, be smart with your coins. Don't spend too many coins uh, unless you can afford it. But hopefully you all pack some blues. The pack weight's going to be awesome because they're so packable already. And it's going to be so much fun. EA, just drop the right upgrade packs. And we won't have an issue. We shouldn't have an issue, but you never know. It's EA Sports. So that's going to be the video for today, boys. I hope it did help you out. If it did, leave a like on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Account. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.